Welcome to another Coin Hacker tutorial. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can dual mine Ethereum and Smart Cash uh, using Claymore's Dual Miner on EthOS. Um, this is assuming you've upgraded your version of EthOS to the to the latest version, which is 1.3.0, uh, which in turn updates Claymore's Dual Miner um, to support Kakak and also the Blake 2S algorithm. Um, this is also assuming you've got yourself a, a smart cash wallet already. Um, first thing you're going to need to do is head over to the smart cash pool. Uh, I'll put the address in the description below. Um, you need to register yourself on account and first of all add yourself a, a worker. So you need to take your worker name from your ethos install. Head over to your my workers page add your worker name for password we're just going to put X for the moment hit add new and now head back over to your terminal and log in uh, you want the vi local.conf enter For global work, you're going to want to change the default 8192 to 16387. We're actually also going to have to add some other flags uh, for Claymore uh, with this as well, which I'll explain to you later. Um, I actually had to record the second part of this video first. Um, because I was messing around so much uh, trying to get the hash rate uh, kind of equal. Uh, we were losing a lot of uh, Ethereum hash rate um, from dual mining smart cash. Uh, so there's actually an extra line we have to add to this, um, which is going to uh, which is going to adjust that so so it doesn't affect affect our Ethereum hash rate too much. Um, but first things first. Let's activate the dual miner with dual miner enabled. Uh, for dual miner coin, we have to put the algorithm kakak. For dual miner pool, we need to get the Stratum server address from uh, from the Smart Cash Pool website. Uh, now. I'm based in the UK, so I've gone for the for the EU server. Obviously, you need to choose the server which is closest to you. I believe they have uh, US and also Asia for memory. You need to check that. So copy and paste this into Dual Miner Pool. Uh, now for Dual Miner Wallet, we're going to need to put the username that you registered. Uh, for smart cash pool with. This is where a lot of people get confused and they add their actual wallet address here. You don't need to do that. You add your wallet address on the pool and you actually add your username here. Uh, you can see your username in the top right hand corner. Let's add that. And for dual miner pool pass we we'll just put X. Obviously, you can tighten up your security a bit more. I'm, I'm just showing you this for testing purposes. Uh, now, the extra line I was telling you about earlier for Claymore is Claymore equals flags dash DCRI 5. Now, what this line does is it, it tells EthOS how much GPU power to put towards mining Ethereum and how much to put towards uh, mining smart cash. Uh, by default, I believe this is around the 20 mark, uh, and for a lot of coins, it seems okay, um, and doesn't affect things too much, but I think the Kakak algorithm is probably a bit more labor intensive, uh, and therefore affects your Ethereum hash rate if you have this too high. So I've found a good number is around five to eight. Uh, any more than that, and you're gonna be losing uh, quite a bit in your Ethereum hash rate. Um, so I just check that everything's done there. That all looks good. Yep. Okay. We're going to press Escape, Shift, Colon, 
then X and then enter. Uh, and now we're going to go down for a reboot. Give that about five to ten minutes, and uh, and once it's back up, you should be successfully uh, mining Ethereum and Smart Cash uh, using Claymore's Dual Miner on EthoS. Okay, so let's log in to our rig terminal and check our statistics. Um, you can see we've lost a couple of mega hash there, uh, where we're now dual mining smart cash. Uh, let's show the stats. There's our Ethereum miner and the dual miner as well, which is successfully mining smart cash. Uh, if we go back over to the pool, you can see uh, my hash rate is 0.35 giga hash. Um, uh, let's have a look at the workers page. Yeah, and there's the worker there. So we're successfully uh, mining Ethereum and smart cash on Claymore's dual miner on EthoS. Um, just remember to play around with the DCRI setting. Um, a good setting is normally anywhere between sort of 5 and 20 or maybe even up to 30, depending on how much uh, power you want to lose on, uh, on your Ethereum mining. But obviously the, the main goal is here to, to keep your Ethereum mining optimal um, and you know earn smart cash on the side. So it's best to have it as a, as a lower number like I have. Um, if you're having any problems setting this up, just comment below on the video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Um, if you want to see more of these types of videos, I'm going to be putting on loads of EthoS tutorials over the upcoming weeks. Uh, also lots of other mining tutorials as well. Uh, so subscribe to this channel uh, and I'll keep them going.